Hello, welcome to the fourth video in this tutorial series. In this video we will look at, at moving the paddles independently from one another and we will also start working on adding a computer controlled panel. So what we need to start doing here is we need to allow a way to distinguish between who's, which player is controlling the paddle to allow the paddles to be moved independently and we also want to record whether the paddle is controlled by a human player or a computer. So let's go down here and create an integer, a public integer um, paddle number. Um, that'll be one and two. We will create a public bool, that can be true or false, is player controlled. Okay, so let's go down to the fixed update method where this is where we're checking for the player input. So we will say if is player controlled. So if this paddle is player controlled, check for player input. Else it's computer controlled. Um, handle uh, computer paddle movement. Okay, so we need to write this method now. And I'm just leaving some space there for comments if we ever get that far. Uh, public void handle. Uh, let's just copy and paste. It'll be easier. Uh, Okay, so now we need to think about how will the paddle be controlled by the computer? What will the computer do? Um, we have some methods here that are useful. So we have the methods for moving the paddle up and moving the paddle down. So we just need to adjust it so the computer uh, can use these methods. Um, so a simple way to do this would be to try to get the computer paddle to maintain a similar, the same Y value as the ball. So to do, to do that, we're going to need to get a reference to the ball. So I'll show you another way now to get a reference to an object. So let's go into the ball object here and in the tags, let's add a tag called now make sure to remember to actually tag it uh, as a ball and we will create let's see uh, we'll say references and then other so it's basically any references to something that is not this object so we were going to want since since we're going to want to get we're interested in the position of the ball, so let's get the ball's transform. So public transform ball transform. Um, so you saw before with the rigid bodies, we just dragged it in. We can do that now if we want, but just for the sake of um, showing you a different way to do it. Um, Let's just get get it when start is called. So we say ball transform equals game object with a capital G dot find game object with tag and then round brackets ball the tag that we just created a moment ago. Ah yes. Um, uh, that will just get the game object. We need to uh, get the transform component of the game object. So let's go down to get com uh, dot get component and uh, angle brackets transform close angle brackets and then round brackets. 
Okay, so let's just check if that's working first. Um, let's see, we don't want to maximize it. Okay, so let's click on the, battle, uh, the paddle now. And you can see there, it's got, it's found the ball transform. So that's that taken care of. So the next thing, uh, uh, just to um, reiterate what we're going to do, if this is, this, let's say this paddle is computer controlled, so we want to track the y value, which is um, the it's on the vertical axis here, um, of the ball, and move the paddle accordingly. So let's go back to this method now: handle computer paddle movement, and we'll say if, and we've got our ball transform, and we want to get the position component of the transform and we're interested in the Y um, aspect of the position or the Y component. Now another thing we're going to need to get here, we're going to we should just cache the a reference f uh, to the balls transform or to the paddles transform too because we we want to be able to compare the two of them. So if like, the ball is a higher Y value then the paddle will move the paddle up. So let's get a public transform uh, this transform um, let me see we've left something let's just comment that out for now build it now we'll, we'll just do we can do this the other way it, uh, it actually you know it'll be probably easier um, this transform so that's the paddle transform equals this. That will get um, this dot game object will basically get the game object attack attached to this script. So we want to get the transform then that is um, a component of the game object. So we get component and just the same as above transform close angle brackets open and close round brackets and that should be that. And so if let's just comment this quickly, if the ball y position is greater than um, if it's greater than the paddle y position move the paddle up so if ball transformed up position dot y is greater than this transform which is the paddle transform dot position that's the position as uh, component of the transform and the y the vertical um, So if the ball is higher than the paddle, we want to move paddle up. And let's just copy that for uh, if the ball position is less than the paddle y position, move the paddle down. So just change the sign here and move paddle down. So let's just have a look at um, whether that has worked or not. Let's see. So let's just take the ball and we need, let's just split the views here so we can see both of them. Let's just take the ball. So you can see now the paddle is following it. It's a bit wonky. Um, there's there's not enough drag basically to um, eliminate the force, so there we go. The um, so what we will do now, we can see both of them are moving, so we need to start distinguishing the paddles between um, computer controlled and player controlled. So let's say that paddle 1, that's the left side paddle, is player controlled, uh, paddle 2 is not.
We will also set this paddle number to 1 now. And we'll set this paddle number to 2. So we press play again. And this paddle will move now. This is double, I'm pressing W and S. There's, and this one, let's just move the ball. You can see. So now we've got the two paddles uh, operating independently. Uh, that's extremely wonky. We'll we'll um, we'll fix that soon. Um, so I think I'll I think I'll wrap it up for this video. Um, now, if you're enjoying these tutorials, um, you're most welcome. I have a Facebook page. Um, I'm currently working on a second game. So if you if you'd like to uh, stop by the Facebook page and just check out what I'm doing, uh, you're more than welcome to. And also, you can subscribe to the channel. So I will see you in the next video. Thank you.